hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to extend view or let's say the inheritance view using the position before and in case you missed previous discussion about how to extend the view or let's say the inherit the view using the position before please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about Odoo with different topics you can go to here in the playlist in the playlist you can see this Odoo development playlist also available with different topics with real task cast. and here you can see this is a main Odoo playlist for the development purpose and you can see editor level tips and the python related tips here if you need any help related Odoo you can visit the about page you can send your query to this email address you can also support this channel using buy me coffee or the paypal or using the join button so let's back to our main topic like how to use the position as a before option all right so simple i'm going to here in the student profile in the student profile let me open the form view so you can see this is the form view here here there is a different test cases like you want to add uh, some content before the specific field here or before the specific position so that time we can use position as the attribute and the option as a before so let's do how it will work so i'm going into the editor and we already created the inheritance view part here in this module and if you don't know about the concept of the how to extend or inherit the existing view please check the first session of the inheritance view part and you will clear all your doubts so let me comment this part this part two and this three lines also all right and don't worry all the code is available in the github so directly you can access uh, this module source code from the github so like let's say record id then after the model and here like we have to use like this four times here ir ui view form inherit like this name model like school dot student if you don't know what is model please check the first session of the odoo like how to create a model and in the model part we already explained how to create this model in the python side like this if you see here so already explained this attributes too and those are the fields all right so like let's say here we have to use inherit underscore id ref and here arch architecture and the type is the xml all right so this is our basic schema of the xml site to extend any kind of view here all right and like let's say in the views So this is the list view and this is the form view so like let's say I will copy the module name first dot and this XML ID to extend the specific view so we can extend or like let's say we can use this line of course what is this one I already explained in the first session second part and the third part also in the view inheritance right all right so don't worry about this one i already explained if you want to learn this one you can just check the previous session also now like let's say here we can use two ways the first way is the directly field tag and another is the using the x path all right so first time like first way we can use the field name equal to and here we can use position like sorry before right so before like let's say let me extend first all the fields okay so you can see like before the roll number i want to display a few fields 
so for that we must have to mention as a field why because this is a field tag you can see we used here so this is actually a field name so for the extension we can use also field in a name attribute we have to mention that existing field name and the position as attribute we have to use the before and simple we can use here field name equal to write underscore that like this only and if you see here in the configuration of the PyCharm already mentioned the database name and the module name so it will automatically upgrade the module while I will restart the service so if you don't know about this one also you can also check the editor level playlist all right so let me it's already upgraded let me go to in the front end side and trying to refresh the page so you can see the roll number before that we use the write underscore date so this is a write underscore date is here so using the position as a before so before this field we can have like it will visible all the specific content content means this one so here why I am saying content only because you can also add multiple fields also actually like this all right not only the this one but you can also add like label also label like name equal to write that like let's say write that something like this thereafter you can also add here any HTML content or anything all right like this so all this content it will display before like before this roll underscore number field let me upgrade the module one more time I'm going into the okay I think this is the issue not a name but we have to use here the port sorry it's my bad and let me refresh the page one more time here and now you can see here like these two fields here it's display the roll number all right you can see like this so this is only for the field level like what about the x path so simple we can use also the x path as a like this name then after like let's say the position we have to mention as a before and here let's see like let's see the notebook all right so here like let's say notebook we can use here specific fields like this these two fields we can display before the notebook all right using xpath and sorry not a name expr sorry for that one so this is the expression and here we have to mention the expression also if you don't know still how to use such type of like expressions please check xpath related discussion it's already covered each and every task case over there so our focus is only for this one position equal to b4 all right so i'm going to in front end side and trying to refresh the page but before refresh the page you can see this is the notebook all right so before the notebook you can see these two fields it will display you can see here so like this way you can use the before option in the position so i hope you clear about this position attribute with the before option and if you have any doubt related this discussion please comment below and see you in next session